For cheaper and reliable coins, check out FeverCoinSale.com. Use the code M for 5% discount. Here we go, guys. We have a British squad builder. An English squad builder. It is the most expensive you can make or something like that. I don't even know. Because I made this a while ago. I don't know. Actually, a while ago means 24 hours ago. But I'm, I'm a lot more in the mood now because... You know how I worked in a bank, I work in a bank, I finally resigned so I can just take a little time off because I've been working in a bank for quite a, quite a while now, so it's time to chill. You know, I've always been doing YouTube, doing three different things at the same time, including working, so it's going to be a nice break and I can come to England as well. And, you know, before I decided I wanted to move to England, but, you know, I want to go just chill for a couple of weeks, a couple of months, I mean, and see how it is to, you know, to really be there. So I can't just say, all right, I'm just going to uproot and go live there. But anyways, I'm yapping my chapper off. So let's get into the squad builder. I don't know what a chapper is even. So we have Gary Lineker up front, or Lineker. Um, we have Michael Owen partnering him up front. You know, Gary Lineker is absolutely amazing. Sharing him had to be in cam. We had to go with a 4 one 2 one 2 with the two center mids instead of left mids and right mids which we put Robbie Fowler and Wayne Rooney and then CDM Jack Wilshire in form and then um, of course the defense line you know Baines a fantastic free kick taker Jaggy Elka so Campbell Neville and of course David Seaman and the bench are just you know the rest of uh, some fantastic English players because we all know how Sturridge is what a beast and you know I've come to know when I played against this guy and he absolutely smashed me on FIFA with one player Steven Gerrard and then I thought you know I'm gonna give him more playing time in this squad builder most people on the bench don't really get much of playing time when I'm doing squad builders but that guy had to be given time and he was is it just me or is Steven Gerrard absolutely brilliant on this game please tell me in the comments below because I think he is the best midfielder I changed my whole vote on Fernandinho and these other players that are sweaty because Steven Gerrard is just so freaking good and you know I really haven't used Pogba this FIFA unless it was in a squad builder but uh, and I don't even know if I've used him in a squad builder I think the Juventus one I didn't use him so inform Pogba should be coming out in the team of the week uh, tomorrow so that'll be interesting scoring two goals pulling a fantastic performance for Juventus so yeah let's get into this game so this guy is just absolutely destroying me and I'm not too sure who that is I can't remember I think it's Ichi Bachi Y I'm not too sure that name it just cracks me up every time it's a freaking awesome name yeah, it is him, Itchy Batchy Y. <laughs> what a sick name, isn't it? Sounds like you're itching your back and you're wondering why. <laughs> hey, Itchy Batchy, but why? Okay, that's lame. Okay, so Michael Owen threads the ball through for Gary Lineker, places that down and just thunderously smashes that straight into the top corner. Nothing, look at this, Itchy Batchy Y. It, who the hell is Itchy Batchy Y? Is it, I, I must be a total twat if I don't know who he is and he's someone really big, but, well, obviously he's not someone big, but I, who the hell is Itchy Batchy Y? Although that name is freaking awesome. If my name could be Itchy Batchy Y, that would be so cool. How would you even address him? You're, you're, you're you know, going for a movie and then he's at the other side and you're know, like, Itchy Batchy Y? <laughs> what the hell? That's a freaking awesome name. So it's 4 2 to me. And look at this by Steven Jod. You can count that as his assist. It comes off his nipple. So it's uh, 4 2 there. And these two, like Sturridge, Welbeck, and Jared, were given a lot of playing time as well. In the second half and they just changed the perception and outlook on this game in these games whenever they're brought on look at that by Gary Lineker well done Gary Lineker Sturridge you know I mean it was an obvious goal there it was pretty much a sweaty goal but Gary Lineker is so good guys if you're thinking about a legend that's English or a legend striker Gary Lineker is fantastic I think this one game here Gary Lineker put in his top performance with I think three goals and three assists in one game he is just fantastic Michael Owen as well you know it's his obscene amount of pace for a striker is just brilliant you know, anything above 86 for a for a striker is really good though you can't complain if you complain you're just an absolute knobhead so excuse my language so yeah so anyway moving to the second game this guy has a sweaty team as can be i mean come on aguero walcott i mean just them two itself scares me and i i'm not too sure what um um what's his name's pace his townsend is this fifa i haven't really used him but pretty sure it's above 86 i'm sure of that so it's pretty sweaty and the fact that he moved, he pushes Walcott into the left wing clearly shows it. But anyways, 
we are this team you know let's talk about the first game i don't think there's any introduction needed because that team just played absolutely fantastic bagging nine goals in that game granted the team wasn't as good but still the uh, the game i'm coming uh, the team i'm playing against now is a fantastic team you can't really complain it's a combination of sweat with aguero really and a couple of informs so it's uh, good to put this team to the test michael Owen there with the finesse shot you know when you're coming in on goal you know, you always make that mistake with the finesse shot. You sometimes, you know, oh, why didn't I power it? Why didn't I finesse it? Sometimes you make those mistakes. And that happened a lot with me on this game. But I clearly am hammering him with the shots. Pushing him back. Pin him, pinning him against the ropes. And that was a really... If you look at that, that was a really good leap of faith from Wayne Rooney. It was fantastic. Brilliant play from Wayne Rooney. But um, overall, this team was fun to use. I don't really... Usually the biggest question is, were they sluggish? I didn't find much sluggishness with them. But if you're going to make a team like this, exactly, I was freaking brilliant play from Aguero. You could have, um, you have to have Steven Gerrard and Sturridge in your team. And don't keep Sturridge as a, uh, you know, on the bench. You want to put uh, Gary Lineker and Sturridge up front or Owen and uh, Sturridge up front. Sturridge is brilliant. So is Welbeck, you know, his second in form is brilliant. And that goal was really unlucky that it was ruled off. But anyways, we've come to the end of the video. There's the top three players of the squad. They are just absolutely, they put in fantastic performances. <clears throat> my god, my voice is not breaking, okay? That is me clearing my throat because I'd be sick. So anyways, I'm going to go. I just want to say thank you very much for 30,000 subscribers as well. If you haven't noticed, go on Twitter. I'm asking you for your questions for my Q&A. Peace.